Hey guys, so previously on American Horror Story Double Feature and these are going to be my prediction part 2. Now, um, we just got done with American Horror Story Double Feature as well as my part 1 prediction of American Horror Story. Now, today I wanted to talk to you guys about there was a small trailer that came out. It was the second trailer of American Horror Story which also connects the Red Tide as well as the Death Valley. Now we're gonna look at the trailer and we're gonna break it down in our best of my abilities. Just watch and let's see how it's gonna go. Now before that we get to that prediction I just wanted to tell you guys that thank you for subscribing and watching my channel i greatly appreciate it like i said every wednesday we're gonna watch american horror story and then friday or thursday we're gonna break it down and review and make predictions now due to the time constraint of the video we're not gonna be too long on on it so we're gonna jump right into the um review of what we're gonna break down the small trailer now if you want more information look back on the previous trailer breakdown that I did and I think you guys might like what I did before and I think that you guys might find some things that are very interesting that I made some short prediction based on the pills as well as Austin and Bel Noir and how they're the only two that don't fit in the picture when it comes to the actual, you know, um, town itself. Now, we know that every summer that they come back to just, you know, talk about how they can, you know, feed on people that, that already have the talent. And people that been had the talent, those are the people that they normally feed on. So we're gonna jump forward to like the breakdown of that trailer that came out before the American Horror Story double feature premiered. The trailer basically predicts the second half of American Horror Story double feature, but this time talking about Death Valley. Um, so we're gonna start by describing the trailer itself and let's see what's gonna happen. So, so far we have American Horror Story Red Tide Part 1 and now let's jump into Part 2 Death Valley and this is the small trailer that came before American Horror Story Double Feature. Check it out. We don't really live in this world. We'll feed off of it. I could really use some inspiration. Once you sell your soul, it's gone. Wherever you come from, listen to me. Stop the killing. Mr. President, it is you who will listen to us. Aliens. Mother of God. Oh, it's breaking, it's breaking all, the all the rules. And I'm here for that. I will respect you. I just want to go back to my normal life. Time is running out. For both our people. We need to create something better. Part human, part us. So automatically we see that um, on the trailer we have the same people from part one. So our first shot continues right after um, the trailer finish. We start talking about the second half of American Horror Story double feature and automatically we see that there's a hallway and it's either the government that is confronting um, the alien which is impersonating a person or it's probably using the person's body as a host which means what we're probably gonna see is some people are either masking themselves as people in the town already 
but we haven't revealed themselves as aliens. Now, the previous synopsis of the double feature Red Tide was that, you know, um, as Fenrid Rock and um, Lily Rape's character comes in the town, they didn't see people as much, but eventually people are going to start making themselves known to the, um, you know, people. So what I'm thinking is we're going to slowly but surely going to start seeing the aliens get um, involved into the season. But even if this is part two of Death Valley, they're probably going to start giving us hint of it. Now, one thing about Red Tide as well as um, Death Valley, the meaning of them, I, I made a prediction that the meaning have like a double edged sword thing as well. One side could be that, one side could be explaining that how the government used the alien's body as, you know, transformed them into pills and eventually they dropped it inside of the promised town because they knew they were addicts and everyone that were they feel as if I feel that the province town is like a big lab experiment for the government and that the government is using province town as a source beacon to lure aliens so that's why either they captured an alien before which in the second part of the Death Valley they explain a little bit of Wikipedia and what Ryan Murphy explained to us that part two is basically we're gonna have um, um, Eisenhower and his wife I guess and we're also gonna be getting um, I guess Kennedy all these old figure presidents are going to be involved which if you know the history of the Eisenhower thing is that he met with an alien before so I feel as if this is what's gonna be happening as we get into the second part of double feature so if you open up the first you know scene of double feature we see that you know a shot of the town and how the episode started off right Austin Summers played by Evan Peters and we see that um, Henry uh, Henry is also already taking the pills and we also start seeing um, Dennis O'Hare's character seeing something washed up on the beach which is part one so we already started seeing the first two episodes and I think you guys already seen enough what happened so as the things start flash forwarding Elsa probably came in town to see what's going on you know how come he's getting all these writers you know brilliance so now that things are getting more and more focused in we start realizing that um things are coming closer so as we saw in the trailer we flash forward to part two the valley and automatically we get this like adoption um uh, feel that as an alien flashes beams at someone's car and like i said the shot that i took here where one of the agent is playing eisenhower and the aliens are basically telling um the government that we just want people to live i would not say in peace but they're creating a hybrid out of out of us it's like they're mating in order for them to create a side of themselves as well as people to coexist so i guess the aliens could either inhabit people's bodies in order for them to mate you know it's a lot so if you see here the government either captured one of them and now that the aliens are not just coming for us but they populating everywhere you know, okay, one of them look like uh, Marilyn Monroe. So they're twisting the trailer. The second trailer, it's like they're mixing everything together. It's like, I feel as if before the town was like very quiet. I feel as if the government was here before. That is one of my predictions that they clean up the town in a way, but half of the population basically got disappeared due to the government interaction with the aliens. Thus, that half of the people that were there either turned into those pale creatures that took the pills, and even do we feel as if the um the uh 
the pills are the one that's giving people the powers i feel that because the if you already had the talent well, that's another thing the, i don't think the pills is what's really giving you the the um i think it's something that came from within if the more you have the urges to learn or to be more talented it's just gonna feed your ego as well as your energy to to transform to to learn more i think whatever this two type of pills they're probably giving like even the, if, if this is giving us a back shot of what happened before like how the town went rampage we realize that everything we see it's it's happening in reverse so we're probably going to start getting to see the aliens and i feel as if like i say slowly but surely probably the next episode we might start getting a few characters from part two because i remember um angelica ross said that and one of her thing on instagram that her character is going to be able to interact with all the characters in part one as well as part two so i'm thinking she's probably a government agent that she knows what's going on because remember uh, dina's porter character said that you know she's more strict but bel noir said that the previous person that was like the the cop let things slide which means that some people are on to what's going on they just letting it happen which means that they might be part of the government, you know, people to just keep everything in check to see how far this experiment is going in and out. You know, like I said, those pills, I feel as if it's the government that created those pills because they wanted to use the town as an experiment area. That the fact that some of the people either transform horribly, that's why you see half of the town is not there because remember one of the people said that you know there used to be a bunch of people in the town but due to the fact that even in the uh, summer but now that things are changing that's when you could see you know possible things to happen so like i said this was some of my prediction to the video like and subscribe and i can't wait for episode three of double feature bye bye guys